reviews and information, advice and recommendation, Pinhead RC. Welcome to Penhead RC. Today we have the Team Associated MTA. We uh, do things a little differently. We put new tires on it because we uh, want to try out the new tires right away. We were having some uh, issues with the stock. Uh, the fan does overheat. Uh, not the fan, excuse me. The motor was overheating real bad. So we're going to do some ratings again. Uh, we already got previous ratings with the stock tires. Right now we got some Power Hobby Raptor All-Terrain tires on it. I will leave a link for the description below where you can buy those tires. I tell you, this has got to be a really fast car for the price you pay. Uh, now you guys got to realize the reason... Um, the reason the tires are so bad is because they got to make money on this. So the course are going to give you not the best tires with it. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to have to change my readings now that we got the new tires on. So before I would say the speed was an 8, I'm going to have to give it a 9 now. Handling was uh, a 7 because it kept flipping. Doesn't seem to be doing that now. Doesn't seem to be doing that. Oh, like a different machine. Uh, handling, I'm gonna have to. Uh, was a seven? I think I'm gonna have to put it at a. I'm gonna have to put it at a nine. That's pretty strong. You know, the move so far is just not. Ooh. Oops. Oh God. Yeah. Sounded funny. talking that right away you want to do oil and differentials. Now the control arms do break. From our understanding what we've seen, there are a lot of videos where the control arms break. Checking out, making sure the tires aren't coming out. I think we're okay. That's kind of doing some weird thing there. seem to be glued on. I don't see nothing separating, so. Oh, 
overall it's a good machine um you know compared to the mt10 if you ain't got the money to buy this right now i definitely recommend the mt10 i'll let you take over and get the rating see what you think but you know stock you do have to do some modifications and the uh, motor got really super hot super hot like it burned your hand if you touched it yeah, yeah, I put a Power Hobby fan on it. And these are Power Hobby Raptor tires all terrain. Um, I've seen another guy, he did it. And he was doing some, pulling off some really good jumps with it. It's kind of hard to do jumps when all your torque is going to your tires. Did you drive it when it was stock? I didn't think you did it. You did, did it? No. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. You did do it? Yeah. Okay. So what do you think of now? Still rated the same? She gave it, a, I believe it was an 8, you said, for speed on stock? Well, I four, you couldn't even get it full speed without a full Yeah. Well, you still have and you said it was 7 on handling because it kept flipping. Someone to trim. I'm sure I could. It seems like when you start accelerating, that's when it really pulls. Well, what do you give for speed? Handling? Eight. So nine for speed and eight for handling? Yeah. Right. Well, we're going to go do some durability at the skate park. Here we are at the skate park. We already had a uh, control line pop out. We popped it back in. It's probably going to happen again. I'll be surprised if it kills me. Another thing I'm having problems with is the harness is turning the on and off switch. So you got to kind of put the iron harness. Oh no, this time it disconnected. Oh wow. That was a scary spark. Yeah, it wasn't even a big jump when that happened. We were both shocked. I'm glad we didn't launch it because I am in, um, I'm in my mind to get a better set of control arms. Can you see that on the camera? It popped off. It's uh, got like a slit in it, like made at the factory where there's a crack inside of it. It's really sad that they built this the way it is. So, um, my conclusion is, yeah, the MT-10 is better than this stock. Um, launcher, you got recording still? Yeah. As a launcher, I guess, and see what happens. Go on here. See what I'm talking about. This is the weirdest design I've ever seen in my life. There's in the plastics factory when it got molded, there's a seal where the, the injection molding ends, and I'm guessing it's right there. 
So, yeah, these are junk. Um, there you guys have it. Everybody, all the videos you're going to see, they're doing some hardcore jumping. The control arms are a huge issue. Uh, the tires, the balloon a lot is the wheelie machine. If any award that it's going to win this year, it's going to be the ultimate wheelie machine. Um, the motor does get very hot. And we are here, I'm seeing with a lot of videos that the differentials need oil right away. They don't come with much differential oil in them. So uh, if you guys want to buy a team associated for starters, I would start off with the MT-10. And then when you got enough money to buy the MT-8 with upgrade parts, buy the MT-8. So from Sarah and myself, happy bash, and we'll see you guys next video.